and down the ground, but if you want to go wide, wide mid-off, there could be some trouble for India. That's where he looked, but it was a wonderful length, very full. So one's the result. Four from two. 13 to win from 10 balls. They need to keep creating some trouble here in this over. Don't leave it to the end. So 10 balls. The next four might win them the game. They might get it down to four or five off the last over. That's what they need in case there's a wicket or two that falls. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. <laughs> David Miende. Has he got that? Back with a square. Might go for four. Doesn't. Just two. Tendulka, the man down there. I like the fact that Akdar's padded up. He is one man that can hit and hit hard. But look at the quick bat speed here. He leaves his crease. Crossover step. Fast bat with good timing. And Tendulka has to pull everything out to save two. Six from the over so far. Ah, oh, he wanted four. Show back John wanted four. Down a long off. More running to be done. No. Cunning. Cunning. The Indian man at mid-off had gone wider again. Moen was looking for that gap. He couldn't get back for two because the man had moved. One wicket would be handy if you're in those two men's position. Andrew Lepus on the right, the, the physiotherapist John Wright, the Indian coach. The result doesn't really matter. I, I guess it does, but the show that's been put on here is the main thing. A victory would top it off. But one of them's got to lose, or have they? Well, I thought he was signalling wide, he hadn't let go of it yet. So uh, the signal changed quickly into dead ball. I don't know what the crowd thought, I think they were in your pocket too. They thought something big was happening, they didn't see the delivery. And yet they went up. Two world records already broken. Highest score batting second. Most runs in a match. Previously was 664. Pakistan, Sri Lanka in Singapore, 96. This already, 699. 689, correction. Maybe that might... Whoa, there's a good chase here. Is there a collision? Has he caught it? Somebody has. Somebody has. Mohamed Kaif has caught as good a catch as you will see in the outfield for as long as you ever watch cricket fantastic silence descends the shot was on mid off and mid on have been playing around with their positions so he went straight down the ground didn't quite get it it was in the air for a long time both men were heading for a collision and yet Mohammed Kaif hangs on to it Hemang Badani prevents injury stays out of the way just oh, takes the brim of the hat off it could have been the melon it wasn't it was a great catch by Kate. seven for 340 10 to win from seven Well, 3.40 for seven, 10 to win from seven. The long conversation there as to who should be at what end. But when you talk about commitment in the field, just watch this. Mohamed Kaif, eyes on the ball all the time. Another player coming in from his right, and he dives over him, takes the catch. How oh, he didn't smash into... Oh, this just got Gillespie War, Sri Lanka 99 written all over it. Ooh. Brilliant catch, brilliant back line. That should only be one. It is. Nine to win from six. Back 
Now, there could have been some controversy there, Jackers. And still, Moen Khan, for some reason, didn't get the strike on that last delivery. Zaheer was bowling to the new batsman. They must have crossed, surely, in that much time. But can they cross for a second and cross out of it? I'm not sure. Six-week suspension for that in football. Three forty-one for seven. And just uh, just as uh, Navid came in, it's, this is actually quite fascinating and could be very crucial. Field. Moen Khan, the man who really wants the strike. Remember the ball hit down the ground, caught it long on, or that's where it finished up anyway, by long off. Can't believe they could have crossed for two. The son of Talfort was uh, at the square leg position, and he was very. No, he wasn't. He was the uh, he was the bowler's umpire. Let's have a look here. Here they go. They're going really fast. Moen Khan is quick. It's a question of obviously uh, watch the shadows. They've crossed now. Question of when the ball was caught. So never got to tell. Anyway. That's what umpires are called. Missed it. Down the leg side, but between the batsman and the wicket keeper. Pressure mounts. Nine from five. Boundary required. And the best bet for the boundary is the man at the non strikers in, Moen Khan. He's having a good chat with Rana now, who doubles as Navid Al Hassan. The crowd not sure, the Pakistan crowd not that happy at this stage. They're on the back foot with their nine from five deliveries. That can change within the space of one delivery. Ashish Neera, he has tightened up at different times. He's bowled full tosses. Can't get more pressure than this. Yorker. It will get Mohan Khan down there, but what a good delivery. Perfect. Right in the block hole, only one. Eight from four. Boundary still required, at least one. Preferably for the home side, a big one. Javid motioning, watch out for the slower ball, watch out. He's trying to coach from the balcony, which is fine. Do you think they're looking at it? <laughs> Who cares? He doesn't, I don't think. Let's have a look at the field placings. They're ringing the changes, that's for sure. Third man is up, there's no one. Anything skewed over third man or through that backward point region is four. They've got a sweeper, mid off and cover. Regulation offside field. On the onside, just three men. Three men, mid wicket vacant. Down the ground, past the bowlers, follow through is another area. You may be able to create some pressure. No, there's a mid on back there. I've gone delirious. Mid wicket might be the go. He's got it between the batsman and the stumps again. What a good over this is. Another day, that's a little inside edge and it flies down for four. Today it wasn't. Meander saying, get away, make room, play it on the offside. <laughs> Eight from three. Too late for any coaching right now. Moen Khan's the man in the middle with the experience. His mind has got to be clear. He's got to know where he can hit a boundary. Whatever Javid Meandad's doing on the balcony will only confuse. It's now up to the men in the middle. Stalling tactics. Ganguly comes over to Ashish Nero. We'll talk about the batsman. Don't forget the bowler. He's under just as much pressure to get it on such a tight spot because of this great batting wicket they're playing on. I don't know about that. If you've just bowled three great deliveries, two dots and one, you, you're already in a focus he's done it again though he's got it in the block hole he should only be one man card slips again here's a run out if it comes the other end it has done but very slowly now they're looking for it. oh dear then result one seven required from two well moen ran two with a slip he got halfway down the second knew he was no chance but then decided no i shouldn't be doing this and went back let's have a look at it field had cut the ball down very well tendulkar Moen's on the way back. Navid 
declines his offer of a single. He's run two with a slip and almost created an overthrow. Another on strike. They really needed Mohan Khan. They needed that too. Change of the field again. Fine leg coming up. Block hole again. You'll get one. So, six to win. So long as this is a legitimate delivery, a tie isn't on the cards. It's got to go over the rope. In the air. It only goes over the rope along the ground. India win. Another conversation with the bowler. Slow a ball a good idea? Yes. <laughs> no, Robin. No. I'd better get down to you, too. If you were the bowler, I'd better get down to you and let you have a bit of a chat, too. Hopefully... The the suggestions are very simple in there. I think Jarvid's saying, trying to get a message out there, back away and try to hit a six over cover. Well, what a shot. What a shot that is. He's done it before. He's hit a six off the last ball. The ball has to be in the right slot. Moen Khan, I guess, is very powerful over mid off and cover, so that shot is his. So firing in a Yorker at leg stump can almost be unhittable and unwinnable by Pakistan. Don't the 30 freebies they've given away mean a lot right now. Yorker, or don't let it pitch. Low full toss is very hard to hit for six. Yorker's perfect. Here we go. He's hit it up in the air. He will be caught. And what a fantastic game of cricket we've just witnessed. India looked like winning for a long time. Pakistan suddenly came back into the game. And a wonderful innings from Imzimam Ulhaq looked as if he'd wrested it away from the visitors. He got out, and those below him just couldn't quite manage. But wow, what a game.